Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Williamsfield High School as we are getting set for 3A semifinal matchup here between the number four seed Snowflake Lobos taking on the number one seed Benjamin Franklin Chargers. I'm Derek Mason here bringing you the action tonight from Blackhawk Stadium. Just getting set for the coin tip and then kickoff. Quickly, we'll go through a short pregame. We'll start off with the Snowflake Lobos. 10 and 2 on the year. One of the Lobos' loss came against Payson back in early October. The second loss was back in week two to the team they find themselves playing tonight. The Lobos lost to the Chargers 43-21. It was all Chargers in August. We will see if it will be the same or if the Lobos can come away with the win when it matters most here in the postseason. This will be the first time the Lobos will be the visiting team this playoff. They played at home the last two rounds. In round one, the Lobos, they played host to the Dust Devils of River Valley. Snowflake never trailed in that game thanks to the help of a 21-point second quarter. The final in round one, the Lobos won 42-7. to In the quarterfinals, it was more domination of the Lobos. Snowflake faced off against the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets in the first half. They scored first and never trailed after that. Heading into the break, the Lobos, they led the Yellow Jackets 21-14. The second half had more tension as the Lobos and the Yellow Jackets traded touchdowns. In the third quarter, Blue Ridge scored first to tie up the game at 21. The following possession, the Lobos retook a touchdown lead. Blue Ridge responded later in the quarter to tie it up at 28. The fourth quarter, though, belonged all to Snowflake as they scored two more touchdowns and kept the Yellow Jackets out of the end zone. Final score for the quarterfinal match for the Lobos, 42 28. Players to watch for Snowflake. Quarterback Ethan Ramage averages 117 yards in the air a game, has 12 touchdown passes and over 1,400 passing yards. Rushing for the Lobos, number 28, Brig Turley Sr., 1,372 rushing yards, 23 rushing touchdown, averages 114 yards a game on the ground. Receiving, it's going to be the tight end, Nick McVicker. 464 yards, 29 receptions, three touchdowns on the year. Not much of a passing team or either of these teams, so we'll see a lot of running. But if there is a threat through the air, it's going to be Nick McVicker. We'll switch it over to the Chargers side. They are 11-1 on the year, coming in as the number one seed for the 3A state tournament. Their only loss was to American Leadership Academy, they are actually playing tonight in the other semifinal game against Northwest Christian Crusaders. The Chargers fell to the Patriots 26-14. The Chargers would love to have a rematch and play the Patriots in the championship game next week. In round one, the Chargers, they handled, biz handled their business very well by defeating Ganado 56 to nothing. Completely different story, though, in the quarterfinals for Benjamin Franklin. As the Chargers snuck past ALA Gilbert North 25 or 35-28. A close first quarter as the Chargers led 14-7 heading into the second quarter. And the second quarter, a big pick six, though, for Benjamin Franklin. Padded their lead at half the Chargers led 21-7. Not much action in the third quarter. It was all saved for the fourth. The Eagles scored first to get back within one touchdown. Benjamin Franklin regained their two-possession lead by scoring a, a touchdown of their own. The Eagles, though, scored the next two touchdowns to tie it up at 28 in the fourth quarter. Finally, it was the Chargers prevailing by scoring the game-winning touchdown to securing their victory and a date tonight with Snowflake. Players for the Chargers to watch out for. Their quarterback, Danner Bowen. Seven touchdown passes, 688 rushing yards, seven rushing touchdowns. Like I said, not much passing offense from either of these teams. We'll look to see who can run the ball more efficiently and better between these two teams. Rushing for the Chargers, number 24, Zach Jeff Jeffries, leads the team with 883 rushing yards, 12 touchdowns on the year, followed by number 5, A.J. Warby. He's getting the start tonight, 827 rushing yards, 11 touchdowns. And behind him, another person, Chance Loving, 605 rushing yards, 8 touchdowns on the year. And if there is a threat through the air for the Chargers, it's going to be number 5, A.J. Warby. 170 receiving yards, three receiving touchdowns. Just the key for Benjamin Franklin, get the running game going. The key for Snowflake, stop the run. Getting set here for kickoff. We're going to take a quick break. We come back, we'll have kickoff. We'll be right back to Williams Field High School right after this.
Welcome back to Williamsfield High School. Derek Mason here. We're getting set for kickoff as it's the number four seed, Snowflake Lobos, taking on the number one seed, Benjamin Franklin Chargers. We'll, we'll, we'll get the Scottish right now. Got it. Coin flip going on right now. Well, then I better get it right then. <laughs> A good crowd on hand for both sides. Snowflake on the far side, Benjamin Franklin here on the near side. Benjamin Franklin is going to kick off to start off this game. So Snowflake is going to receive the opening kickoff. Benjamin Franklin will get the kickoff coming out of halftime. The Chargers wearing navy blue tops with gold bottoms, gold letters trimmed in white on the front and the back. Chargers across the chest in gold trimmed in white as well gold helmets numbers on one side I believe a charger on the next for the Lobos white tops royal blue pants with a white stripe down the middle royal blue numbers on either side snowflake across the back that's in white or in, excuse me in blue with a navy blue helmet both teams a trip to the state Four, or the 3A state championship game coming Friday, November 29th at 6 p.m. We will see who they will be playing as a game we'll be watching all night is going to be Northwest Christian and American Leadership Academy. They're getting set to play their semifinal game tonight as well. We'll give you updates throughout the game. Well, we are more focused on the task at hand right here. Lobos will receive the opening kickoff. They will go right to left on your screen. Set to kick off for the Chargers, number 29, Andrew Tosher. A low line drive kick here to the near side. It's going to roll out of bounds. Great starting field position for the Lobos. As I mentioned in the pregame, these two teams they met before. It was at Benjamin Franklin, and it was a good win for the Chargers, 43-21. Not much of a contest. We'll see how much things can change. As that was back in the week number two of the season. Lobos will start on their own 35-yard line. First down and 10. Shotgun formation. And back on either side for Ethan Ramage. Ramage back to pass. Has a receiver. It's Nick McVicker here on the near side. Pass midfield. He's going to get pushed out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Great start for the Lobos. 25 yard gain on the completion. First down and 10 from the Chargers 40-yard line for the Lobos. Beautiful night here on the east side of the valley for tonight's 3A semifinal game. Same formation, ball handed off to the Lobos, Taryn Green. Green maybe gets a yard. It's going to be second down and nine. Big first play from the Lobos. They find themselves in Charger territory. Green and Turley the backs for the Lobos. Two wide receivers on either side. Ball handed off to Turley. Turley gets met at the line and brought down. Big play by number five, A.J. Warby. He's also going to be doing the running work for the Chargers tonight. Gain of a yard on the play. It's going to be third down and eight. Ball at the Charger 38-yard line. 
Four wide receivers for the Lobos. Three on the far side, one on the near side. A lone back. Pistol formation. Ramage back to pass. Has a receiver on the far side. It's McVicker. Not enough for the first down. Gain of seven yards. Excuse me, gain of four yards on the play. A short fourth down, fourth down and four. Lobos are going to go for it. Same formation, just flip the side of the field. Ball on the far hash mark for Snowflake. Ramage back to pass, rolling over to here to the near side, looking for his receiver, McVicker, falls incomplete. A little bit of contact, no flags on the play. Chargers will take over on downs. It'll be first down and 10 for the Chargers. We'll get the first look at their offense this evening. Danner Bowen, the senior quarterback for Benjamin Franklin. 9.49 left here in the first quarter. No score yet. Chargers will start on their own 33-yard line. Under center is Bowen. Bowen gets a lineman to jump from Snowflake. Bradley Ruiz jumps across the line. It'll be offsides, so it'll be first down and five for the Chargers. They haven't ran a play yet. One wide receiver for the Chargers. Wishbone offense. Ball handed off. I believe to Zach Jeffries. Jeffries will gain a couple of yards. Second down and two, I believe, so a gain of three for Jeffries. The lone receiver here on the near side doesn't go into the huddle is Ryan Graham. A lot of running we'll see tonight from both teams. Ball handed off to A.J. Warby. Warby gains two yards. It's going to be third down in inches. Not enough for the first down. Previous play is actually going to be a first down for the Chargers as the head official stops the play, looks at the ball, looks at the marker, signals first down. So the gain of two is good for Warby. First down and ten for the Chargers. Ball handed off to Jeffries. And Jeffries gets met at the line of scrimmage, maybe for a loss. Gets a gain of a yard is Jeffries, second down and nine. Second down and nine, ball at the Chargers 44-yard line. Ball in the middle of the hash marks. Bowen's going to keep it, has a hole up the middle, gets into the secondary, has enough for a first down. Looks like a gain of 10 yards for Danner Bowen. First down and 10, 
Chargers inside Lobo territory. 7.25 remaining in the first quarter. No score yet here at Williams Field High School. A neutral site for this 3A semifinal game. Ryan Graham, the receiver, goes to the far side of the field as the ball is on the near hash mark. Warby gets the handoff and then tosses it to Jeffries. Jeffries trying to go up the middle. He's going to gain three yards on the play. It'll be second down and seven for Benjamin Franklin. So we're seeing the same formation from Benjamin Franklin, but plenty of different looks they can go with, as we've seen three already, I imagine they have more up their sleeve. Second down and seven for the Chargers. Ball handed off to Warby, going to the far side, gets a hole, trying to bounce to the left side. One man to beat, gets pushed out of bounds by number nine, Jacob Ballard. A big run for Warby. Twenty-four yard gain on the run for Warby. First down and ten from the nineteen. Bowen's going to keep it. Same play going up the middle. Breaks a couple of tackles. Has enough for the first down and a couple more. Gain of 12, I believe. That's to the seven yard line. Another first down for Benjamin Franklin. It'll be first down and goal for the Chargers at the seven yard line. Spotting the ball at the eight. A run up the middle. It was Jeffries. Jeffries gains two yards. Second down and goal from the Lobo six yard line. A little bit of miscommunication from the Chargers sideline to the huddle. Five seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to hurry. Just get it off. Ball handed off to Jeffries. Jeffries met at the line of scrimmage. A good stop for the Lobos. It'll be third down and goal from the six-yard line, so no gain for Jeffries. Third down and goal under five minutes here in the first quarter. Bowen keeps the snap, looking to pass, decides to run. Gets sandwiched between a couple of Lobos. He stops short inside the five-yard line. Gain of three yards. It'll be fourth down and goal. Fourth and goal from the three-yard line. The Chargers stop the Lobos on their fourth down try on their first drive. Can the Lobos do the same? Two wide receivers this time for Benjamin Franklin. Bowen decides to keep it, goes up the middle, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Three-yard run from Daniel Bowen. Gives the Chargers an early touchdown lead.
The extra point is up. And it's good. 7-0 lead for the Chargers here late in the first quarter. 3.56 for money remaining. The Chargers lead 7-0. The first drive for the Chargers ends up in a touchdown. Great start to this semifinal game for Benjamin Franklin. Getting set for the kickoff back deep for the Lobos is Brig Turley. Arthur Tusher is set to kick off for Benjamin Franklin. Another low line drive kick gets fielded by Taryn Green. Taryn Green trying to go up the middle. Has a couple of blockers, a spin move. Breaks a couple of tackles. It'll be first down and 10 for the Lobos from their own 34-yard line. He's return by number 30, Taryn Green for the Lobos. The NFHS Network is pleased to introduce digital downloads to our high school sports coverage. Just click the blue digital copy box directly under the event video player to buy a digital copy of this event. And as always, you can purchase a DVD keepsake of today's event by clicking on the blue Get the DVD button or by clicking on the Buy a DVD button at the top right-hand corner of the NFHS Network website. Make today's memories last a lifetime with a DVD or a digital download from the NFHS Network. We are high school. First down and 10, ball handed off to Turley. Turley gets met in the backfield for a loss. Loss of a yard on the run for Turley. Second down and 11 for the Snowflake Lobos. Back to pass is Ramaj. Ramaj looking for McVicker. Just past McVicker. Falls will, the pass will fall incomplete. One for four so far on the night is Ethan Ramaj through the air. All targets have been to his tight end, Nick McVicker. Third down and 11 for the Lobos. Trips bunched up on the far side. Fake the pass. Little Statue of Liberty play. Ball handed out to Green. Green has enough for the first down. Gain of 13 yards for Taryn Green. First down and 10. Lobos have the ball on their own 46-yard line. Under three minutes remaining here in the first quarter. They trail by seven. Same formation. Ball handed off to Green straight up the middle. Gets met by a couple of Chargers. Gains two yards on the play. Second down and eight. Lobo is looking at their wristbands for the play from the sideline. Shotgun formation for Ramaj. A lone receiver here on the near side. Ramaj hands the ball off to Turley. Turley going to the far side. Looking for a couple of holes. He'll gain about four yards on the play. Gain of four yards. Be third down and four. Ramage communicating with his 
offense. Now back to pass is Ramage. Has Turley here on the near side, escaping the backfield. Breaks one tackle, gets pushed out of bounds. Brig Turley has enough for the first down. Gain of seven yards. First down and 10 from the Chargers. 41 yard line for the Lobos. Ball handed off to Green. Green takes on a couple of Chargers. Gets brought down. Gain of eight yards for Taron Green. Under a minute here in the first quarter, 7-0 Benjamin Franklin. Lobo's on the drive, looking to tie this game up at 7. Two wide receivers, two backs on either side of Ramage. Ramage back to pass. Looking for a receiver, goes off the hands of Caleb Lyman. Lyman probably more worried about the hit. Then catching the ball, had an easy first down. Not able to come up with the catch, though, is Lyman. Third down and two for the Snowflake Lobos. Trips formation on the far side. One lone receiver here on the near side. Pistol formation in the backfield. Ball hands off to Green. Green's going to gain enough yards for the first down. Gain of three yards. First down and ten from the 30-yard line. They're going to run out the clock on the first quarter. Are the Lobos... So Benjamin Franklin, they struck first here in the first quarter on their opening drive. Their one and only drive here in the first quarter. The Lobos, they're on the move. We're going to take a quick break. Into the first quarter, Chargers lead the Lobos 7-0. Welcome back to Williams Field High School as we begin the second quarter here of this 3A semifinal match. Looking at the other semifinal match between the American Leadership Academy Patriots and the Northwest Christian Crusaders. No score yet as I believe they're still in the first quarter. Looked like Northwest Christian was on the move before their pass got intercepted. The first and ten play from Brig Turley, or from the Lobos, is handed off to Brig Turley. Gained six yards, it'll be second down and four. Second down and four. Ball inside the 35-yard line of Benjamin Franklin. Split wide receivers for the Lobos. A back on either side of Ramage. Ramage going to hand the ball off. To Brig Turley. Brig Turley escapes a couple of tackles. Flag on the play. 
We'll wait to see what the penalty is for. And it's going to be holding against Snowflake. It's going to back him up 10 yards. So instead of a first down and 10 inside the red zone, It's going to be second down and 16. This is the second possession for Snowflake. They had a little bit of momentum on their first drive before they get got stopped on a fourth down play. Ramaj fakes a handoff, now gives it away to Turley. Turley looking to break free, gets brought down inside the 30-yard line by a couple of chargers. It's going to be second down and nine, a gain of seven on the pass play. Third down and nine. Four wide receivers, three on the far side, one on the near side. Ramaj, back to pass, steps up into the pocket, decides to run, gets stopped, maybe at the 20 yard line. Looks like he's going to be shy. It'll be fourth down and one from the 21. Gain of eight yards on the play. So fourth down and one for the Lobos. Another big fourth down play for Snowflake. Trailing by seven. Under ten minutes here in the first half. Ball at the 21-yard line. they got to get to the 20. Three backs in the backfield. No wide receivers. Ball handed off to Tully. Gets tripped. Looks like he's got enough. Gain of two yards for Brig Turley. First down and 10 for the Lobos from the 19 yard line. Ramage trots back from his sideline with the play. No huddle for the Lobos. Ramage in shotgun formation. Hands the ball off to Green. Green gets stuck at the line. Will gain a yard, maybe two. We'll call it one yard as it's in between the 17 and 18. Now the officials, two yards. So two yards on the play. Second down and eight. I formation for the Lobos. Toss to the back, I believe, is Isaac Daly. It's either it's number 28 instead of 20. Brig Turley on the run. Gain of 10 yards for Turley. First down and goal for the Lobos inside the 10 yard line. Looking to knock this game up at 7. 8 12 remaining, I formation. Ramage under center, hands the ball off to Turley. Turley bounces it to the outside. Escapes the last man, walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Snowflake. Seven yard run for Brig Turley. 8.05 remaining in the second. Number 
The first Sam Duncan on the extra point for the Lobos. Sam Crockett, right-handed kicker, right-footed kicker, excuse me. Set for the extra point. Kick is up and good. Not an up at seven with 8.05 remaining in the second quarter. Score update from the other 3A semifinal game. Northwest Christian on the board first with a field goal with a minute left in the first quarter. Looked like a 24-yard field goal was good. They lead the Patriots 3-0. The if you want to watch more of your school's great events like the game you're enjoying here today, then tell your school to sign up for the NFHS Network School broad Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to nfhsnetwork.com slash sbp. Mounted up at 7 as we get set to kick off. Sam Crockett has the ball lined up on the far hash mark. Low line drive kick that bounces all the way down to the 10. A little juke move coming here to the near side is Dana Bowen. Bowen gets all the way to midfield. The quarterback for the Chargers making some big plays on the kick return. So Benjamin Franklin will start first and 10 from midfield. as they will start their second possession of the evening. Same formation we saw from the first drive from the Chargers. Ball handed out to Jeffries. Jeffries going to the outside, gets pulled by his jersey brought down for a gain of three. A lot of runs for the Chargers. They have yet for to attempt a pass play. One receiver that's always been lined up is Ryan Graham. He's on the near side. Second down and seven for Benjamin Franklin. Ball with a toss. Is Chance and Loving. Loving gains maybe a yard. Third down and six. Third down and six from the Lobos 46 yard line. Bowen under center. He'll keep it this time. First passing attempt for the Chargers. Bowen's gonna keep it and run. Get the first down in more. Makes a guy miss. Makes two. This is spin move. Three or four. A good ball. Bowen out to the Wilson's finally gets brought down inside the 10 yard line. Good run for Daniel Bowen. Gets brought down at the eight. 38 yard run for Danner Bowen. First down and goal for the Chargers. Six minutes remaining here in the first half. Loving got the handoff. Nothing doing. Loses a yard. Loving stop by the middle of that low blow defense. Awesome. Awesome. Yard two brings up second and goal. Second down and goal for Benjamin Franklin.
Loving gets the sweep. Loving coming to the near side. Meets a Lobo, gets tackled out of bounds. Gain of three yards on the play for Loving. Third down and goal for the Chargers from the seven yard line. Jeffries and Loving's the back for the Chargers. Loving, or excuse me, Jeffries is going to get the snap. Met at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Lobo's defense making a stand. And Jeffries comes up hobbling as he trots off the field. No gain on the play for Jeffries. We'll get a field goal attempt from, I believe, number nine, Joshua Case. 25-yard field goal attempt. The kick from Case is up, and it's good. We got a 10-7 lead in favor of Benjamin Franklin. 4.25 remaining here in the second. Chargers two for two on their drives by scoring points. Their first drive ended in a three-yard touchdown run by Bowen. And then with 425 left here in the first half, a 25-yard field goal by Joshua Case gives them a 10-7 lead. Benjamin Franklin taking no time getting out on the field, getting ready for kickoff. Lobos are ready. Brig Turley, the lone returner in the back for the Lobos. A low line drive kick. It's going to bounce. It's going to be picked up, I believe, by Green. Green gets met. It was welcome Chapman on the return, not Green. Chapman got met at the 26-yard line. Good vicious hit from the Chargers. We'll see what kind of four-minute offense these Lobos have. 420 remaining, trailing by three. Split wide receivers, one on either side. Split backs, one on either side of Ramaj. Ramaj is going to hand the ball off to Turley. Turley, a couple of cuts and jumps. Gains maybe eight yards. Great Turley on the carry for the Lobos. Brings a second, not two. Second and short, three. Second and a long two. Ball handed off to Green. Green cuts back towards the middle of the field. He'll have enough for the first down. Terry Green goes his way forward for another local first down. Gain of six yards on the run. At the end of the first quarter between American Leadership Academy and Northwest Christian, it is the Crusaders leading 3-0 off of a field goal. Ramaj fakes the handoff, now passes over to the far side. Has his receiver and Caden Cantrell. Gain of seven on the play. Second down and three, ball handed off to Turley. Turley 
Turley gets to midfield. Gain of four yards. First down and 10 from midfield for the Lobos. 2.45 remaining. Ball handed out to Green, and Green gets met in the backfield. Excuse me, that's Turley once again. So Turley with a loss of two. Second down and 12 for Snowflake. Ramage back to pass, rolls here to the near side, has his receiver green, and he gets dropped hard. It's number five, A.J. Warby. And we're going to have a timeout for Snowflake. We'll take it with them. 10-7 is the score in favor of the Chargers. 2-0-1 remaining here in the half. We'll be right back to Williams Field High School right after this. Welcome back to Williams Field High School. It all starts here on the NFHS Network. Tune in every week to watch the best high school action from across the country. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, the NFHS Network. We are high school. Score update from the other semifinal game. It's 3-2. to two. Northwest Christian gets on the board. They had a punt down at the one-yard line of ALA and then got a safety. Almost a baseball score over there at the other 3A semifinal game. Third down and nine. Ramage has Turley, completes a pass, escapes a couple of tackles. Gets brought down shy of the first down. Gain of six yards. Big fourth down play with a minute 30 here in the second quarter. Snowflake trailing by three. Benjamin Franklin stands. Making some noise. Five seconds left on the play clock. We're going to have a timeout from Snowflake. We'll take it with them. 1.14 remaining in the second quarter. We'll be back after this commercial break. You're watching live coverage of the 2019 Arizona Football 4A playoffs on the NFHS Network. The NFHS Network is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship action. From live games to full game replays to highlights, it's all here on the NFHS Network. Fourth down and three for the Lobos inside Chargers territory. Minute 14 remaining in the half, and a big flag comes up. False start against the Lobos. A false start. It's going to go against number 78, Logan Whitman. So instead of fourth down and three, it's fourth down and eight. The Lobos will be forced to punt. Crucial penalty for Snowflake. Snowflake. 
High snap. A punt that's going to come here to the near sideline. It's short. We'll see where the official is going to mark it out. And it's going to be first down and 10 for the Chargers from their own 36-yard line. So first down and 10, a minute, eight remaining for the Chargers. They have all three timeouts remaining. First down and 10. Back to pass is Bowen. Bowen decides to go deep, overthrows his receiver. It was Garrett Jones. Garrett Jones is shaken up on the play. We're going to take a break as he's still on the ground. 101 remaining, 10-7 in favor of the Chargers. We'll be back. We'll be back after this injury timeout. Garrett Jones, the injured receiver for the Chargers, able to walk off under his own power. He is holding that left arm as he gets helped to the sideline as he gets a conversation with the trainer. 101 remaining here in the half. Second down and 10. A rush up the middle. We're going to have a timeout for Benjamin Franklin. Third down and eight. Under a minute remaining. 10-7 is the score. Benjamin Franklin got on the board first with a three-yard run by Bowen with 3.56 remaining in the first quarter. That was their only possession of the quarter. Went down, scored. And by the time they got the ball back, it was the second quarter. Lobos, they got on the board, tied it up at 7 with 8.05 remaining in the second quarter with a 7-yard run by Brig Turley. And then just recently with 4.5 minutes remaining, a 25-yard field goal made by Joshua Case gives the Chargers a 10-7 lead. Third down and eight for Benjamin Franklin. Two timeouts remaining for the Chargers. Four wide receivers, three on either, three on the far side, one on the near side. Bowen goes into shotgun for the first time. Bowen, a wide receiver screen over to the far side. Gets completed to Cade McAfee. Gain of five yards. Five yard completion. It's going to be fourth down and three. Score update from the other 3A semifinal game. Not sure which stats to believe. But I believe it's... It should be 9-3 to in favor of ALA. 
They went for a two-point conversion and failed. They are in the second quarter with eight minutes remaining. So the Patriots are in the lead. Looking for a spot in the 3A championship game next week. Fourth down. Chargers set to punt. Punt it away. A little line drive kick. It's going to bounce at about the 31 and roll inside the 25 where the Chargers will let it roll even more and let it come to a stop. First down and 10 for Snowflake at their own 23-yard line. 35 seconds remaining. No timeouts for the Lobos. I doubt we'll see any big plays or any Hail Marys from the Lobos. The Lobos will kick off to start the second half. The Chargers will receive the second half kickoff. Thirty-five point five seconds remaining. I formation for the Lobos. Two wide receivers that are on the near side. Ramaj under center. Ramaj tosses the ball over to Turley on the far side. He'll gain a couple of yards. Turley takes the ball off the left hand side for a few yards, brings up second down. Gain of three for Turley. Second down and seven. Final ten seconds. No hurry from the Lobos at all. They'll get the playoff. So last play of the half. Ramaj decide to go deep. It's picked off by Bowen. Bowen looking for a return. Bowen. Coming out over to the near side, looking for a couple blockers. Has blockers out in front of him. And he's going to be brought down. So one turnover, and it's a Hail Mary from Ramaj. That's going to end the half. 10-7 is the lead for the Chargers. Quick recap. Got a flag on the play. No flag on the play. So that's the end of the first half. 10-7 in favor of the Chargers. Quick recap of the first half. Chargers got on the board with a three-yard run from Bowen with 3.56 remaining in the first. That was all the scoring in the first quarter. Then in the second, Lobos got on the board with a seven-yard run by Brig Turley. Tied it up at seven. Chargers went down the field with 4.25 remaining. Had a 25-yard field goal by Case. And got their three-point lead, which is where we stand now. Chargers will receive the second half kickoff. So when we come back, we will have the second half of this 3A semifinal game. Benjamin Franklin leads Snowflake 10-7. We'll be back right after halftime.
High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today.
High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player and select DVD or digital copy to get yours today.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Williams Field High School as we get set for the second half of this 3A semifinal game. The Lobos and the Chargers are in a close game here. Chargers lead 10-7. Both teams looking for a spot to get in the 3A championship game next Friday. That will kick off at 6 p.m. A quick recap of how both these teams got here through the playoffs. In round number one, the Lobos played host to the Dust Devils of River Valley. Snowflake never trailed in that game, ended up winning it 42 to seven. In the quarterfinals, they dominated a little bit more, winning 42-28 against Blue Ridge. But it was a little back and forth as in the third quarter, Blue Ridge scored the first touchdown to tie the game up at 21. The following possession, the Lobos retook a touchdown lead Blue Ridge responded later in the quarter to tie it up at 28. But two touchdowns that were scored in the fourth quarter from the Lobos gave them their 14-point lead to have them advance here tonight at Williams Field for the semifinal matchup with the Chargers. On the other side of the field, the Chargers, the number one seed of this 3A tournament, they handled their business very well by defeating Ganado 56-0, not even allowing a point in round number one. A different story, though, in the quarterfinals for the Chargers. They just snuck past ALA Gilbert North 35-28. A close first quarter for the Chargers. They led 14-7. And then in the second quarter, a big pick six for Benjamin Franklin padded their lead at halftime. It was a Chargers 21-7 lead. Not much action in the third quarter, though. All of it was saved for the fourth and final quarter. The Eagles, they scored first to get back within one touchdown. Benjamin Franklin regained their two-possession lead by scoring a touchdown of their own. The Eagles scored again to tie it up at 28. Finally, it was the Chargers prevailing with the game-winning touchdown. 35-28 was the final score in the quarterfinals for the Chargers. And they have a 10-7 lead here for the third quarter as we are getting set to get underway. The kickoff gets returned by Bowen. Bowen up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and he'll be brought down at the 34-yard line. That's where the Chargers will start off their first drive of the second half. Some unofficial stats for you from the first half. For the Chargers, Danner Bowen only had two passes. Went one for two, five yards. On the ground, though, he's got two carries for 26 yards. Jeffries has seven carries for 12 yards. But the big man, or excuse me, Danner Bowen leads the team with 65 yards on five carries. The first and ten play is another run by Warby. Warby maybe gets a yard on the run. Warby gets tripped up on the right hand side. Very short game. Brings up second down. Warby is the man with two carries and 26 yards. We'll give a Warby a yard. On the play, second down and a long nine or a short ten. Same formation we saw from the first half from the Chargers. Ball tossed to Loving. Loving has blocks down front, gets through a hole. An 11 yard gain, make it 12. For a chance in Loving. First down and 10 for the Chargers from their own 46-yard line. First down and 10, ball on the far hash mark. Flag on the play. I believe Warby is the ball carrier. Flag will go against Benjamin Franklin. They'll be moved back. A 
It was an illegal shift. Moved back five yards. So first down and 15 for Benjamin Franklin from their own 41-yard line. Bowen's going to keep it. Fakes the toss to Loving. And a couple yards for Danner Bowen on the run. Bowen keeps his he keeps the ball for a short game. Brings up second down. Two yard gain for Bowen. Long second down for the Chargers. Leading by three here in the third quarter. Bowen back to pass, looking for his receiver. Coming to the near side, just passed and now stretched fingertips of Ryan Graham. Third passing attempt falls incomplete as Bowen overthrows everybody. Third down and 14 for the Benjamin Franklin Targers. Both these teams traveled in style here today. Lobo's got a nice gray bus behind the press box with their logo on it. Third down and 14, Bowen rolls over here to the near side looking to pass. Under pressure, looking for a receiver and it's caught by Ruby. Goes off of Green's hand from the Lobo's and into Warby's hands. Big play, first down for Benjamin Franklin. Twenty-three yard completion. First down and ten for the Chargers from the Lobos thirty five yard line. Ball tossed to Loving. Loving gets met at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward. Gain of a yard. So talking about the rides of both these teams, Benjamin Frank Franklin rolls up in a normal school bus, but on the side of their window, the numbers and names of every player along with the coaches. Gain of a yard on the play for Loving. He's got 16 yards so far on the evening. Second down and nine. Ball toss to Loving again. Bowen, the lead blocker for Loving. Gets inside the 30-yard line. Gain of five on the play for Loving. Third down and four for Benjamin Franklin. Under eight minutes, they lead 10-7. Bowen's going to keep it, fakes the toss. Now under pressure, gets met from behind. Gets brought down in the backfield for a loss. A loss of a yard. The fourth down and or the third down and four turns to a fourth down and five. Fourth down and five. The Chargers will go for it. Looking to keep this drive going. They've already wasted eight minutes of this third quarter. And a hard count from Bowen. Flags fly as the Lobos jumped off sides. So off sides against the Lobos, goes up five yards. Should be a first down for Benjamin Franklin. It is a first down. Crucial penalty for the Lobos.
First down and 10 from the Lobos 25 yard line. Bowen gets a snap, tosses it to Warby. Warby gets met in the backfield. A good aggressive tackle by David Ruiz. And as I say that Ruiz goes down to the turf, has to fix his shoe. Loss of a yard for Warby. Second down and 11. Bowen rolls out to the far side, looking to pass, has his receiver. It's Garrett Jones on the reception. Only for a short game though, good coverage by the Lobos. Gain of two yards on the play. Under six minutes here in the third quarter. Chargers lead 10-7. Long third down for Benjamin Franklin. Third down and nine. Bowen gets the snaps. A reverse. Warby has it. Come to the near side. Has some blockers. Flags fly. Turning the corner is Warby. Warby after the races gets pushed out of bounds. We'll wait to see what this flag is. Might be a holding against the Chargers. As we await the penalty, it's a block in the back against Benjamin Franklin, so the play is going to come back. The Charger fans don't like the call. Their third and nine turns to a third and 11. Five oh one left here in the third quarter. Possessions are gonna be at a premium for both these teams once this quarter ends. Averaging maybe one and a half possessions a quarter. Long third down for the Chargers. Bowen back to pass. A straight drop back. Going to the far side. Has his receiver, Ryan Graham, goes out of his hands. Flag flies. is holding against the Chargers. I don't know if Snowflake will accept the penalty. Penalty is declined, so it's going to be fourth down and 11 with 4.53 remaining in the third quarter. Long fourth down. Chargers need to get to the Lobos' 15-yard line. Ball at the 26. Lobos need a stop. Shotgun formation, a back on either side of Bowen. A far receiver on the far side. Bowen fakes the handoff, now keeps it. Going to the far side, and he only is going to gain a couple of yards. Turnover on downs. Lobos will take over. Maybe a gain of three yards for Dan or Bowen. So Snowflake will take over. First down and 10 for Snowflake. Today's event is also available for all subscribers via our mobile site. Log on to nfhsnetwork.com from your smartphone or tablet and view live games or replays anywhere. Turley gets the handoff, breaks a couple of tackles, takes on some chargers. Gain maybe of seven yards. 
Gain of eight for Brig Turley. Short second down. Turley the carrier. Gains enough for the first down. Gain of five yards. First down and ten for the Lobos. Ball handed off once again. A little bit of a hurry up offense for Snowflake. This time it's green. Taryn Green's going to gain six yards. It'll be second down and four. Ball handed off to Turley. Turley runs into a wall at the line. Still a gain of two yards. A very manageable third down for Snowflake. Gain of two yards for Turley. 14 carries so far on the night for Brig Turley. A touchdown to his name. 14 carries for 56 yards. Three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Third down and two. Ball at the Lobos 44-yard line. Three wide receivers. Turley goes into motion to the side of Amaj. And the ball gets handed off to Green. It'll be a first down for the Lobos. Gain of five for Green. First down and 10 from midfield. More specific, the Lobos 49. Ball handed off to Turley. Turley stuffed at the line. And he'll be brought down. Maybe a gain of a yard. We'll call it no gain. Second down and 10. Ramaj in the shotgun, has two wide receivers, also has two backs. Ramaj is going to keep it looking to pass, has his receiver, it's Nick McVicker. The pass was at his feet, McVicker tried to bring it up, wasn't able to do so. Third down and ten. Ramaj had McVicker open, not able to get it out in front of him, let him run. Under two minutes, 10-7 lead for the Chargers. Third quarter, 3A semifinal game here at Williams Field High School. Ramaj back to pass, now scramble, steps up into the pocket. Under pressure, delivers a strike. Has a receiver, it's caught. It's welcome Chapman. Chapman gets pushed out of bounds. No flag on the play. Huge play for the Lobos. 27 yard completion from Ramaj to Chapman. One forty remaining in the third quarter. Ball now at the Chargers 24 yard line. We're going to have a timeout, and it's going to go for the Chargers. So timeout, Benjamin Franklin. They lead 10-7, but the Lobos, they're on the move. Looking to tie it or take the lead. We're going to take a quick break. 141 remaining here in the third quarter. We'll be right back to Williams Field High School right after this.
Join the conversation, fans. The NFHS Network is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, giving you access to the best high school sports every week. Follow the NFHS Network on your favorite social media sites to keep up with all the high school action on the NFHS Network. Hashtag, we are high school. First down and 10 for the Lobos after a big third down, 27-yard completion. Ramaj hands the ball off to Turner. Turner has a big hole. Gets brought down from behind. Had a lot of green out in front of him. Gain of about eight yards for Brig Turley. Second down and two for the Lobos. Charger fans making some noise, trying to excite their defense. Turley on the run, makes a cut back towards the center of the field. He'll be brought down. It's enough for a first down. Gain of seven on the run for Turley. First down and goal for the Lobos. Ball at the nine yard line, under a minute here in the third. Ball handed off. And it's going to be Taryn Green, Taryn Green, nine yard run into the end zone. First lead of the evening for Snowflake. Lobo fans on the far sideline making some noise for the first time this half. Getting set for the extra point. Kick is up. And it's good by Sam Crockett. 14-10. The score here after the nine-yard touchdown run by Taron Green. His first touchdown on the evening. Do have an injured Charger hobbling back towards his sideline. 73, Dean Terrell. What a statement from the Lobos. Marching down the field on their first possession after a big fourth down stop. Stopping the Chargers at about their own 20-yard line. Driving the distance of the field and able to get into the end zone. These two teams faced off earlier this year. Not the game you're seeing tonight. As the previous game was a 43-21 win for Benjamin Franklin. A much low scoring game here. 14-10 as we're about ready to enter the fourth quarter. 50 seconds remaining here in the third. Crockett with the kickoff. Low line drive kick. Fielded by Bowen at his 15. And Bowen's going to be tackled at about a 14-yard gain. Chargers will start off on their own 29-yard line. First down and 10 for Benjamin Franklin. Bowen decides to keep it. He gets pummeled by four snowflake defensemen. No gain on the play for Bowen. Second down and 10 for Benjamin Franklin, trailing by four. 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. No sense of urgency from the Chargers. That's going to do it for the third quarter. As they run up to the line, the clock's going to run out. 
We go to the fourth quarter. Snowflake has their first lead of the evening. They lead 14 to 10. When we come back, we'll have the final 12 minutes. Snowflake leads 14-10 right after this. Back to Williamsfield High School. 12 minutes remaining left in this really, really tight football game. Ball handed off to Jeffries, or excuse me, Chance and Loving. On a second down and 10, he gains 11 yards on the play, moves the chains. Each team had one possession in that third quarter. Snowflake making the most of it, scoring a touchdown, taking their first lead. First down and 10 for the Chargers from their own 39-yard line. Two wide receivers this time instead of the normal one. Bowen tosses the ball off to Warby. A good hit from the Lobos. Slow to get up is Warby. Gain of... Three yards, maybe four. We'll give Warby four. So possessions are at a premium for each team. You're probably going to get about one possession a quarter. If you're lucky, maybe you can start a second. Second down and seven. Bowen. Fakes the toss, gets met in the backfield, maybe gains a yard as he falls forward. One yard on the run for Bowen. Leads the team with 70 yards this evening. Third down and five for Benjamin Franklin. All the momentum has switched over to the Lobos. All the noise coming from the far side. Little pep in the step for the Lobos defense. Big third down. And a timeout for Benjamin Franklin. That could be crucial. That's their second timeout used this half with 10 minutes remaining in this game. Snowflake leads 14 to 10. We'll be right back after this commercial break. You're watching live coverage of the 2019 Arizona Football 3A Playoffs on the NFHS Network. The NFHS Network is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship action. From live games to full game replays to highlights, it's all here on the NFHS Network. Big third down here in the fourth quarter. Ten minutes remaining. Snowflake leads by four. Bowen, back to pass. Has a receiver. It's caught. Ryan Graham makes the reception and a big first down for Benjamin Franklin. 
13 yard completion for Bowen. First down and 10. Chargers have the ball at the Lobos 43 yard line. Bone, toss to Loving, Loving, stiffs on the Lobo, gets pushed out of bounds. Gain of three yards. On the play, I believe, for Loving. Injured Lobo. It's number 68, David Ruiz. David Ruiz is on the ground. We'll take this injury timeout along with him. 14 to 10, Lobo's lead here in the fourth quarter. If you want to watch more of your school's great events like the game you're enjoying here today, then tell your school to sign up for the NFHS Network School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to nfhsnetwork.com slash sbp. Second down and eight, Bowen back to pass. Has a receiver, and it's caught. Cade McAfee. Big play for... The Chargers. Sixteen yard completion. First down and ten from the twenty five yard line of the Lobos. Bowen, toss to McAfee. McAfee has had a little hole, try to get around the corner. Looked like he gained eight yards on the play. Eight yards for McAfee. We're going to have a timeout for Snowflake. 8-11 here remaining in the fourth quarter. Snowflake leads 14-10. The Chargers, they're now on the move with their first possession of the fourth quarter. We're going to take a quick break when we return the final eight minutes left of this 3A semifinal game. Join the conversation, fans. The NFHS Network is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, giving you access to the best high school sports every week. Follow the NFHS Network on your favorite social media sites to keep up with all the high school action on the NFHS Network. Hashtag we are high school. Second down and two for Benjamin Franklin. And deep inside Lobo territory, trailing by four. Bowen in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, has a hole at the middle. Takes it, makes a cut back towards the center of the field. Has enough for the first down. 
Maybe a gain of five on the play as the ball is on the 12 yard line. First down and 10 for the Chargers. Under eight minutes remaining. Bowen once again in the shotgun. Bowen keeps it. Tries a spin move. He'll gain a couple yards. Two yards to be exact on the run. Second down and eight from the 10 yard line for Benjamin Franklin. Been a close, exciting game all evening. Bowen takes the snap, back to pass. Scrambling, looking for anything, decides to run. Has blockers out in front of him and makes something out of nothing. Ball comes loose. The Rebels recover. A big turnover. Here late in this 3A semifinal game. And it is. That's a fumble recovery for the Lobos. Didn't see who came up with the ball. But really the first turnover comes at a crucial point. There has been one other turnover, and it was an interception, but it was at the end of the first half on a Hail Mary from Ramage that led to nothing. Ramage from the shotgun. Hands the ball off. Turley the runner. Lost two yards on the play. Long second down for the Lobos at their own seven yard line. Three wide receivers, two on the far side, one on the near side. Ramaj back to pass. Little screen pass, it's intercepted! Intercepted by Chanson Loving. Loving, if he was able to stay on his feet, and could walk into the end zone. First down and goal for the Chargers. 5.59 remaining. Lobo is trying to set up a little screen pass. And coming out of nowhere is Chance and Loving. Ramaj threw behind his intended receiver. First down and goal for Benjamin Franklin. Bowen, toss. McAfee, touchdown, Benjamin Franklin. Crowd on the sideline going nuts. Seven yard touchdown run for Cade McAfee. Keep it on. It's working. It's working. Keep it on. The extra point is up and no good as Joshua Case had to rush it and a little bit of pressure made him hook the kick. 16-14 now the lead for Benjamin Franklin. A field goal will win it for the Lobos. 5.55 remaining here in the fourth. 
after the seven yard touchdown run from McAfee. So Snowflake will get another possession in six minutes to work with. The kickoff bounces and fielded by Turley. Turley looking to go to the far side, turns the corner. Not bad field position for the Lobos. They'll start at their own 30 yard line. First down and 10 for the Lobos. They'll start at their 30 yard line, 548 remaining here in the fourth. 16 14 the lead for Benjamin Franklin. Ramage, he'll hand it off to Caleb Lyman. Lyman's only going to gain a yard or so. Second down and nine for the Snowflake Lobos. Second down and nine. Ramage in the shotgun. Hands the ball to Turley. Turley makes a cut. Now go to the far side of the field. Has a blocker out in front. And he'll get brought down. Gain of seven yards. Short third down for Snowflake. The Chargers fans up on their feet. Late here in the fourth quarter. Chargers lead by two. A trip to the 3A championship game next week on the line. Four wide receivers for the Snowflakes. Three on the near side, one on the far side. A lone back is Taryn Green. And we're going to have a timeout. Timeout, Snowflake. That's their second. We'll take the timeout with them. 16-14 with 429 remaining in the fourth quarter. Benjamin Franklin leads. We'll be right back to Williams Field High School right after this. Third down and four for the Lobos. Turley gone in motion, he'll get the handoff. Turley, Turley gets a hole. And enough for the first down. Gain of five for Brig Turley. Twenty carries, eighty-one yards on the night for Brig Turley. First down and 10. Ball at the 41 yard line. Turley again. Breaks a couple tackles on the hill. On the far side of the field. Breaks another tackle. Gets pushed out of bounds. Big run for Brig Turley, the senior, senior running back. Twenty-seven yard run for Turley. Now over the century mark. 
108 yards for Turley on the evening. Under four minutes here in the fourth quarter. Lobos, all they need is a field goal for the win. Turley goes in motion. Ball handed off this time. It's Green. Green finds a couple of holes and breaks a couple of tackles. Big gain on the first down play for Taryn Green. Taryn Green on the carry for the Lobos. Green's up second down. Gain of six yards for Green. Ball handed off to Brig Turley. Turley cuts it back towards the middle of the field. Keeps the feet moving. Falls forward. He's going to gain a couple of yards. It's going to be a first down. So gain of four yards for Turley. Approaching the three-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Both teams with one timeout remaining. Could prove crucial if the Lobos are able to score. It's going to be under three minutes. The Chargers will get the ball back, but only one timeout. First down and ten for the Lobos. Darren Green, the ball carrier, bounces it to the outside. Looking to turn the corner. Lowers his shoulder. He'll gain about four yards on the play. Four-yard run for Taryn Green. Turley, I believe, the ball carrier. It is Turley. Gained a yard. Third down and five. Hit the two-minute mark. Lobo's just wasting time off the clock. Good methodical drive for the Lobos. Shotgun formation. Ball handed off. And a big first down for the Lobos. Inside the 10-yard line. Ball now at the nine yard line. First down and goal, 120 remaining. Clock ticking. Ball handed off to Troy. Troy trying to bounce to the outside. Gets brought down in the backfield for a loss. It's going to be a loss of three yards. Timeout, Benjamin Frank from their final timeout with a minute 10 remaining. We'll take the last timeout with them. Benjamin Frank leading 16-14, but the Lobos are on the move. We'll be right back right after this. One ten remaining here in the fourth quarter. Both crowds making some noise. Lobos trailing by two deep inside. Charger territory ball handed off. Gain of a couple yards. And it was Turley the ball carrier. Under a minute, clock ticking. Third down for the Lobos. 
And they're going to take their last time out. 40 seconds remaining. We have an exciting finish waiting for you on the other side of the break. Welcome back to Williams Field High School. We're going to give you a quick score update from the other 3A semifinal. AOA leads Northwest Christian 22 to 10. They are in the third quarter. We are in the fourth quarter. 40 seconds remaining. It's third down and goal. Snowflake trailing by two, but they're at the 10 yard line of the Chargers. Ball well handed off. To Ramirez, Ramirez into the end zone, touchdown, flag on the play. More than likely, it's going to come back. Ramirez had a just a cakewalk into the end zone, and it's holding against Snowflake. That's going to back him up 10 yards. 34.8 seconds remain. No timeouts for either team. It's going to be third down and goal from the 18-yard line. And Ethan Ramage is limping off the field on the far side. The senior quarterback Trying to do everything he possibly can to stay in this game for 34 more seconds. It's third down and goal. The Lobos are well, well within field goal range. Even after the holding penalty. Caden Cantrell the new quarterback for the Lobos. Cantrell lined up in the shotgun formation. Four wide receivers, three on the far side, one on the near side. It's third and goal. Have to throw it out of bounds if your Cantrell can't take a sack. And it's going to fall incomplete. Close play by Cantrell. It's going to be fourth and goal. The trip to the 3A championship game on the line with 28.5 seconds. The field goal. Unit on the field for the Lobos. 35-yard field goal for Sam Crockett. Sam Crockett's ready. The hold. The kick. It's no good. No good. Right the left from Crockett. And that's going to do it. 35-yard field goal, no good. A crazy finish here at Williams Field High School. It's going to be the Chargers... Moving on to the championship game next Friday night. And if the score stands on the other side, they'll be playing the ALA Patriots. Victory formation for the Chargers. And the kneel from Bowen. That's going to do it here from Williamsfield. We're going to take a quick break, come back, recap this game. 
and get you ready for next Friday. 16-14, the final score. Chargers beat the Lobos. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to Williams Field High School. A final here in this 3A semifinal game, 16-14. The Benjamin Franklin Chargers proving to be victorious here tonight, defeating the Snowflake Lobos for the second time this year. The first time came back week number two. The Chargers won 43-21. A much different game here, though, this evening. And it was well fought. Well fought by both teams. Close all evening long. Scoring recap. It was the Chargers getting out on top early. A three-yard run by Bowen. That was late in the first quarter. Their only possession for the Chargers in the second quarter with 8.05 remaining. A seven-yard run by Turley tied the game up at seven. Later on, with 4.25 remaining, a 25-yard field goal made by Joshua Case. 10-7 lead the Chargers had going into halftime. One team scored in the third quarter. It was the Snowflake Lobos on their only possession. They scored with 49 seconds left in the quarter. A nine-yard run by Green gave them their first lead. 14 to 10. Going into the fourth quarter, each team had two possessions. And they both scored. Or no, excuse me. Only one of them scored. It was Benjamin Franklin with 5.55 remaining. A seven-yard run by McAfee. The extra point was no good, and it proved to be crucial. The Lobos went down the field, wasted seven minutes of the clock, had the game-winning field goal, 35 yards, with 23 seconds remaining. It was no good. Went wide left. And after that, it was victory formation for the Chargers. Unofficial stats. First for the Lobos. It was the Lobos' Brig Turley. 26 carries, 118 yards, one touchdown. He did have 20 reception yards. The best rusher for the Chargers was their quarterback, Danner Bowen. Had a touchdown on the night. 13 carries, 79 yards, one touchdown. He only threw seven times, went five for seven for 59 yards. Ethan Ramage for the Lobos. He went eight for 11, 83 yards, two interceptions. That last interception proved to be crucial. It came with 559 left in the fourth quarter. The very next play was a seven yard run by McAfee. And that's all we got for you this evening. The number one seed, Benjamin Franklin. They bend, but they don't break. They move on to the championship game next Friday at 6 p.m. at Campo Verde. I'd like to thank my operator, Marcus Bowers, and my cameraman, Jay Williams. Without their help tonight, tonight wouldn't be possible. I'm Derek Mason. The final from this 3A semifinal game, Benjamin Franklin beat the Snowflake Lobos 16-14. So long from Williamsfield High School. Have a good night, everybody.